Zach's Screen of the Week, an overview of a timely stock screening strategy aimed at helping you produce more profitable investing results. Today we're talking about both growth and value because it takes both to be successful in today's market. At least that's what Kevin Matris, our top stock screener, says about both of those topics. They kind of go together like soup and sandwich, don't they? There we go. And uh, Love and marriage. He, right. Peanut butter and jelly. Right. A winning formula. Yes. Uh, I really think that this is the winning formula for today's marketplace. Uh, when you look at growth investors, growth investors are looking for big earnings growth. Um, what's interesting is that in this recent earnings season, we saw a bunch of companies pop higher without even having any good earnings growth. They, they popped higher just by being able to beat dreary expectations. But I don't think that's going to cut it uh, in the future, uh, especially when you consider that earnings growth this year is actually down roughly 35% from last year at this time. So companies are really going to have to step up and show some good growth rates to attract investors. When you're looking at value investors, value investors are looking for companies with good valuations like low PEs, for example. But I think in, in uh, today's environment, if you were to look at P.E. ratios, P.E. ratios have actually increased significantly. If you were to look at the increase in P.E.s from the low in March, P.E.s are actually up 27%. So it's becoming increasingly difficult to find companies with low valuations. Uh, and if you are able to find companies with low P.E.s, a lot of these companies have low P.E.s because there isn't really any growth to speak of. So people don't really want to pay up for growth because there really isn't any growth. So I think in, in today's market environment, I believe that it is critical that you look for both. Got to find good growth, have to find good value, and I think this is the way that you will be able to improve your odds of success. All right, well, let's take a look at the parameters for this screen because we want to be successful. Yeah, the, the screen I'm looking at, of course, you know, the name of the piece is Growth and Value. So I'm looking for companies that have both good growth, good value, and it's focusing on the companies with the highest growth rates that also simultaneously have the lowest P.E. ratios. So the screen starts off by looking at companies with a one-year projected growth rate that is better than 80% of all of the companies out there. The way I'm doing it is I'm using a uniform rank of 1 through 99, 99 being the best growth rates, and I screen for stocks ranked 80 or better. So again, I'm looking for companies in the top 20 percentile of growth rates. Then the next item is I want to find companies that have the lowest forward P.E. ratios. Once again, they have to be lower than 80 percent of all the other companies. We use the uniform rank again. 1 through 99, this time 99 having the lowest P.E. ratio. And again, you're looking for companies with P.E.s lower than 80% of all of the other companies out there. We follow it up with companies that have a Zach's rank of a 3 or less, meaning no sales or strong sales. And all of these uh, uh, items were applied to stocks trading at $5 or greater with an uh, average daily trading volume of 100,000 shares or more. And give us some, uh, some examples of some stocks that came through. Yeah, there was about, I think, maybe 25 or 30 stocks that came through the screen this week. Here's five of them. You've got ARLP, uh, BRP, let me just read the names, uh, Alliance Resources, Brazil Telecom, The Pantry, Sepracor, and Exide Technologies. Each one of these stocks has market-beating growth rates. They have uh, valuations, P.E. Uh, ratios that are below the market. Uh, and I think these are, are two great combinations. This should help you outperform the market moving forward. Do you own any of these? Uh, not at the moment. All right. And if you want to check out the others of those 25 that came through this week's screen, <laughs> I guess the other 20 because these are five of them, go to zax.com and scroll down that home page until you get to Kevin's picture. Click on the headline right next to it and it'll take you to this week's text version of the screen of the week. And if you want to check out more about the Research Wizard, that's what Kevin uses to achieve all of these screens, that powerful piece of software, go to zax.com forward slash research wizard and you get the whole lowdown on that tool. With Kevin Matris and the screen of the week, I'm Terry Ruffalo.